Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Chai Sip K95 face mask. This is the Amazon listing. They come in a 20 pack for $13.59. They also have a 4.5 out of 5 rating with over 53,000 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. Let's go ahead and take a look at these masks and see how they look. So like I said, they come in a 20 pack. So there's 10 in each little bag. Go ahead and take one of these out. So this is how they look. They are a very standard K95. They are very thin. The inside material is very soft compared to the outer layer. They could be using a hydrophilic spawn bond, which we know it's not the best option because it can interfere with melt blown. Let's look at the straps really fast. Oh, okay. Well, that one snapped. <laughs> So we did have a couple defective ones, but let's go ahead and try it on. The nose wire is actually pretty sturdy. Let's see how it fits. Okay, so this is a medium fit. So I am getting a pretty good seal around the face here. I am struggling a little bit to adjust the nose wire so I can stop the little leakage that I'm getting from the bridge. There's not a lot of collapse, but I'm still getting some leakage here in the nose. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is an attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.27% and had a pressure drop of 14.3. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.21 and a pressure drop of 12.5 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.66 and had a pressure drop of 12.3 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI testing, these tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency. The pressure drop was also not bad. It stayed between 11 and 15 millimeters of water. And although we've seen more breathable face masks, these are well within the K95 standard. In terms of the construction quality, they were a pretty standard K95. It did have a nice nose wire, but for some reason, as I wasn't really able to create a good seal in the bridge of my nose, I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you want to see in our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.